Hello everyone, welcome to Science Tutor. I am your tutor, Ralph Stan. In this tutorial, I'm going to solve our first oscillations and waves question. Oscillation and waves is covered in Cape Physics Unit 1, Syllabus Module 2, Section 2.9, Properties of Waves. Before we get into the actual question, I'm going to ask you to read yourself of all distractions. So, if you have, let's say, Facebook or Twitter open in your browser, or any other web pages that might show you a notification and distract you from what we are doing here, to go ahead and close those tabs. Also, if there is music playing in your background, you may go ahead and turn that off as well so that you can hear what I'm saying clearly. The question reads, the fundamental frequency of vibration of a string is F. If the length of the string L were to be half then the tension T in the string is increased by a factor of 4, what would be the new fundamental frequency? Take a few seconds to a minute to write down this question if you have to. You may pause the video to do so. So, before you try to answer any question or solve any problem, you should first try to understand what is it that the question is asking. In our situation, the question is asking us what would happen to the fundamental frequency of vibration of a string if we were to half the length of the string and multiply the tension in the string by 4. Secondly, you should look at what the question has given and how does that help to solve the question itself. Also, you must try to recall what is it that is known. In other words, what are the principles that govern the operation of the system that you are studying or the system in question. In this question, we know that the, there's a fundamental, there's an initial fundamental frequency F. The string is of length L and there's tension in the string T. The question is asking us to half the length L and multiply the tension T by 4. And based on the theory, our most potent tool is this equation here on the right. This equation shows the relationship between F, the fundamental frequency of vibration, L, the length of the string, and T, the tension in the string. Mu is a constant and is a property of the string. It is the linear mass of a string. That is, the mass per unit length is equal to mu, and it is measured in kilograms per meter. After having L, multiplying t by 4 we're gonna punch them into this equation here on the right our new equation will look like this 1 upon 2 multiply l upon 2 root 4 t upon mu and from here it is simple mathematical manipulation let us first try to simplify this fraction a half is being divided by l upon 2 so we can invert L upon 2 and multiply. That is 2 upon L multiplied by a half. And also we can remove root 4 and put it outside this root. So we'll have root 4 root T upon mu. And we're starting to see that this expression is looking like what we have in the equation on the right. We can further simplify this by taking the two outside of the bracket, putting the half inside the bracket, and so we get that expression 1 upon 2 L, and the root of 4, or the square root of 4, is 2, and we write back T upon mu. From here, we see that 2 multiply 2, 1 upon 2 L, root T upon mu. Now 2 multiply 2 is 4, so we have 4 multiply 1 upon 2 L root T upon mu. This section right here is that equation that relates the fundamental frequency F to the tension T and length of the string. So we can easily rewrite here for F and this is our answer. And in essence, what this is saying is that if we have a string that is vibrating with a fundamental frequency of F and we were supposed to have the length of that string and multiply the tension in the string 
t by 4 then overall we're just multiplying the fundamental frequency f by 4. now thank you for watching feel free to comment in the comment box below like and share this short video with your friends and if you have any question on the topic of oscillations and waves you may also email me at science tutor at cloud tutor.com or leave your questions in the comment box below